These devices appeared to give the power of flight. Reggie would have been impressed if they were not on the backs of frog scum. Too late. Reggie saw from the docks his brother's silhouette on a ship surrounded by tribal frog soldiers. No sign of their foul leader. He had to get to his brother.
Reggie had little trust in shamans. There was more mystery in this world than his father had taught him. The shaman had gone, but he'd left a key. None had seen a turtle in many seasons. His father claimed he found one here as a boy. But it didn't look old. Reggie was almost two after all. Could a turtle reach such an old age? Grateful to be free, and promising entertaining tales of Reggie's father as a pup, the turtle offered to take them across the river to the foul froglands. The turtle bid the pair farewell. Reggie asked his friend to stay by the river. This was not his fight. But Jay never abandoned a comrade in need. They were as brothers now, he said. Reggie had expected something as foul as frog spawn, but the frog lands were strangely like home apart from the smell. The same pipes that were in Station 24-7 were visible here. This was how the frogs were invading. Jay was furious the engineering that kept moles safe was being used to hurt others.